It's Tuesday, April 12th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now with the headlines for today. President-elect Yoon suk yeol visited former President Park Geun-hye in Daegu on Tuesday. He's been on a nationwide tour since this Monday, starting with the southern regions of Daegu and North Gyeongsang province. Park recently moved into her new home in Daegu after being released from prison under a presidential pardon. During his visit, Yoon invited Park to his inauguration ceremony on May 10. Back in 2016, Yoon led an investigation team into past corruption scandal that led to her impeachment and imprisonment. A U.S. nuclear power aircraft carrier has entered international waters of the East Sea in an apparent show of force against North Korean provocations. According to informed sources, the USS Abraham Lincoln is currently in waters east of Busan and is expected to remain there for about three to five days, during which South Korea and the U.S. may hold a joint naval exercise. This comes amid concerns that Pyongyang could engage in more provocations in time for its major political events later this month, including the 110th birthday of its late founder Kim Il-sung on Friday. Meanwhile, a U.S. congressional report said North Korea's recent missile tests appear to be aimed at defeating U.S. missile defense systems in the region like that, but the actual capabilities of North Korean missiles remain uncertain. South Korea's chief prosecutor Kim oh soo has spoken out against the Democratic Party's push to strip the prosecution of its power to investigate, saying it will compromise the nation's ability to respond to serious crimes. Kim also said he would have no reason to remain on the job if the reform goes through. The Democratic Party has been pushing for the reform to prevent the prosecution from abusing its power, especially before South Korea gets a new conservative president on May 10. To oppose the move, the chiefs of regional prosecution offices held a six-hour meeting on Monday, and afterwards they asked for the formation of a parliamentary committee to collect opinions from experts and find reasonable measures for the prosecution reform. And those are your top stories. For full link articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.